greet you the beloved in Christ. Thank you all that are here with us in this morning glory. I thank you those that are with us in this morning glory. Let me say that may God bless you. Amen. Amen. We thank you, our God. We thank you for your holy and your righteous. When you speak, things happen. And when you reign, it's found. Let this morning be a blessing unto us. And unto every everyone, brother, in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Beloved of Christ, may the Lord bless you. I want to appreciate those that are always with us every day. May the peaceful Lord bless you. There are people who uh, thanked God yesterday in the comment section. Those who were able to thank God. May the Lord continue blessing you. We will read your messages. What you read down, we are able to read them. And you should always write your prayer request there that we will pray for them in the evening. God bless you. God bless you too. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen, amen. May you all be blessed. Mugabe also thanked God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And he said that through prayers it's where we acquire the power of our Father. Mugabe, God bless you. Yeah. Tell us say that prayer is life. Tell also say that Pastor, thank you so much. May the Lord protect you. Hey. Thank you for praying for us. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yeah. Alice also say that truly prayer is life. May the Lord bless you, Alice. Prayer is life. Prayer is life and it's the lifestyle that we should live. Yeah. Mukansanga Datif also said that may God bless you. We thank you all that write in the comments. Those who are joining us for the first time, you can subscribe and so that you can be able to get the teachings of each day. May the Lord bless you. We are going to enter into the prayer for today. It's a prophetic word that I've been given. It's a word that we find in the book of Jeremiah, chapter 15, verse 21. The word says that yes, I will certainly keep you safe from these wicked men. I will rescue you from their cruel deeds. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. I'll keep you safe from the wicked men and I will save you from the cruel hands of the enemy. I will, heal, I will secure you or rescue you from their cruel hands. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I will keep you safe. Let's read this word together. 
Let it be like a song. Mzakurokura nguva ne maboko ya banya biaha. I will certainly keep yourself from these wicked men. Kani nzakuchiza amaboko ya yute yugo. And rescue you from the their cruel hands. Mzakurokura nguva ne maboko ya banya biaha. Yes, I will certainly keep you safe from the, the these men, wicked men. Iman shumachan. May the Lord be praised. Kurokura guchiza. To save or to rescue. God has it as his project. God uses it a lot. He has a say that he will rescue you and save you. From the hands of the wicked. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The hands of the wicked. The hands of the evil. The hands of wicked people that want to destroy you or they want to remove you from your job or they say that you never give birth. They can fight against you in different ways. They can bring an enmity between you and your friend. But God knows that they are sinners. That I will save you from the hands of the wicked people. I will save you from those things that are scary. Are there things that are bringing fear in your life? This morning the salvation of God. Maybe there are things that you are thinking about. And you, you, you are afraid of them. And you feel your heart has stopped. God has healed you. God has rescued you this morning. He will save you from those terrible, terrible and terrifying things. There are some bad messages we receive that are, bring fear in our lives. There are some documents that bring fear in our lives. There are words that are bring fear in our lives. There are plans of the enemy that bring fear in our lives. There are pits that bring fear in our lives. There are witchcraft that bring fear in our lives. There are things that bring fear in your life. Maybe it's an illness that is bringing fear. Maybe, maybe there are things that you're entering into that are bringing fear. Whatever is bringing fear in your life, God will bring out hope from it. He's going to do a miracle. And the one that was troubling your heart, got a miracle out of them. Out a miracle from this morning may you receive victory hallelujah hallelujah i pray may the lord remove you from the hands of the wicked hallelujah May the Lord remove you from the hands of the wicked. May God remove you from the hands of the sinners. May God remove you from the castles of the sinners. May God remove you from their castles. Hallelujah. There are people who fought against you. They thought they have managed you. Wondering where is my goal? He's going to save you and remove you from their hands. Yeah. Hallelujah. The Bible says that Daniel, that morning, on that day, though the like things were happening, when he he was in a pit of lions. God tied up the mouth of the lions. And they couldn't eat him. There are things that God has tied up their mouth. There are things that God has chained them. And 
there are things that God has stopped that you will receive victory in the name of Jesus this morning God will visit you this morning God will give you more powers this morning God has opened a way for you this morning hallelujah in Jesus those that bring fear God has rescued you through <inaudible> whatever was making you fail <inaudible> God has rescued you from Received it in the <inaudible> what you, what you have received victory <inaudible> may the peaceful Lord bless <inaudible> you <inaudible> may you have a good day <inaudible> may you write your request in the <inaudible> comment section <inaudible> we will pray for them <inaudible> and again <inaudible> we will be together in the evening in the deliverance prayers and the teachings about deliverance invite your friends be blessed bye 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 bye